I look out and I could see the glow from it then. And uh, it stayed that way, glowed all night long. Phil Long says he's lived in this valley for 40 years and has never seen anything like it. It's just a lot of smoke. You can see the smoke, you know, flames coming up from where it's uh, so much fire underneath of it. Long lives a mile and a half from where one of the Jim Beam warehouses went up in flames just before midnight on Tuesday. At least five area fire departments responded. Coming and going, I'm sure there were in excess of 60 firefighters on the scene at one time or another. The fire ripped through a warehouse containing 45,000 barrels of relatively young whiskey, according to Beam Suntory, the company that owns the distillery. The heat was so intense, it melted the vinyl siding off a nearby home. Even the taillights of one of the fire trucks couldn't withstand it. Hell, I guess. You know, that's all I can say, excuse me for saying. But yeah, it's, I mean, it was just really hot. Officials suspect a lightning strike is to blame, a suspicion that Long shares. I'd say that's what happened, this lightning struck at the warehouse and set it off. Today, crews continued to put water on what is now just a pile of brick and wood. In a statement, Beam Suntory said the company is grateful no one was hurt and that it has a comprehensive safety program that includes regular inspections and rigorous protocols. Long says the distillery warehouses have long been a piece of this community. I hate seeing anything happen to them.